Hello, and welcome to Fourth Dimension. I'm Joseph Killer. And today we are playing the game called Banished. It's an indie game that's been uh, released on Steam recently. I've been keeping up the dates in it, and I've seen people play it on YouTube. Man, this music is, uh, um, I don't know about you, but it's good music, but it's a bit too loud. There we go. Okay. It's been on uh, released on Steam recently. It's an indie sort of game, and I've seen YouTubers uh, play it, and it seems pretty cool. Kind of like SimCity or SimCity um, towns, uh, gnomes, or whatever, and you know, like that sort of thing. And uh, I haven't played it before. This is the first time actually playing it right now. So I'm going to start off with the tutorials. Now, if you don't like me doing the tutorials, you can leave that in the comment section below, and I will be uploading another sort of thing after the tutorials, which will be the actual ones after, you know. And if you end up not liking the tutorials, I will get rid of them completely and just continue with the uh, the um, original game, which is just a new up here. And so, let's just start off by learning how to play the game on uh, getting started. So, uh, learn the basics of the game, including camera movement, constructing basic buildings, assigning workers for jobs, la 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 la. So let's go over that. Loading. Wow, okay. Welcome to Banished. In this game, you control a group of exiled travelers who decide to restart their lives in a new land. You'll have to help them survive. At any time during this tutorial, you can access the options menu by pressing ESC. Well, that's, that's standard. From the options menu, you can save and load your progress, change settings, or exit the game. Come on, nearly anyone knows that. First, get familiar with moving around the landscape. You can move the camera around by pressing W, A, S, and D. You can also move the mouse of at bleh. you can also move the mouse to the edges of the screen to move the camera. Try it now. Ah, oh, this is the basic frickin' move around tutorial in it. I guess I have to get through this before I get to the stuff that I actually don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, Q and E. You can rotate the view by pressing Q and E. You can also rotate the view by holding the middle mouse button down and dragging the mouse left and right. As you can see here, see? Left and right, or Q and E. Um, this is probably better using the middle mouse one. You can zoom in and out by pressing insert and delete, which I am not going to do because scrolling is so much easier. I don't know why anyone would use insert and delete. So I was going to say, unless they didn't have a mouse, but I don't think you'd be able to play this game without a mouse anyway. You can change the pitch of the camera by pressing page up. up well, uh, I guess you have to use page up or down for that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, nothing special. All keys are configurable and can be modified in the option menu. Thank you for that. Now that you're familiar with the movement controls, it's time to start playing the game. Thank God you're probably thinking, you just had enough of those damn easy tutorial that you already probably knew all those moves too. The people you control need three things to survive. Shelter, food, and a way to keep warm in winter. You might notice that some people have this icon floating above their head. This means that the townsfolk don't have a place to live. You can provide townsfolk with places to live by building homes for them. First, select the housing menu on the toolbar. Next, select the wooden house on the toolbar. Using the mouse, move the house to the highlighted area and press the left mouse button. Well, thank you for telling me this. Something I'm probably going to figure it out by myself. Placing a building will leave a footprint where it will be built. To get the town so to start construction, you have to collect wood for the structure and stone for the foundation. You can cut down trees and remove rocks from the landscape by using the destruction tools. Start by pressing this button down here, and then this button here. I guess I have to clear this land here. Towns Oak will head to that area and start removing rocks and trees while they are busy 
you can place a stockpile where the citizens will store logs, stone, iron and firewood. Select the storage tool by pressing. You know what, I probably could have, <laughs> probably could have skipped this terrain thing, but, oh, that's understandable. It's pretty simple. Tiles that will move the harvested rocks and trees to the stockpile. Yes, I already know that. While any town's person cut down trees or move materials from one place to another, some jobs require special uh, specialized workers in the case of construction. You will need to assign builders. Yeah. Okay, assign builders. Um two builders will do. Builders can begin instructions on the house. Just one house isn't enough though. Let's um build another house. Um There. And well, I have to do it. Okay, that'll do it. Sometimes it takes a while for the people to do all the jobs that you have assigned. If you're in a hurry, you can change the speed. Okay, I'm done. That's done. Faster? Okay. Um, I think that's pretty good actually. If you guys enjoyed this series, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below of what would you like else for you for um else you would like to see. I am kind of fresh at this, I used to have another channel called Tin Killing Noobs. If you want to go out and check out that go over to that channel, that channel is going to just be sitting there for now because everything's gonna be put onto this channel. Because I thought the name Team Killing News wasn't that good, and that's why we started this new channel called the Fourth Dim Dimensional Gamers, which is 4D, 4DG for short. Now I is it can it take for ages to build a house? Oh, finally! Great! You've built some pathetic houses for all the townsfolk. They love you. They are thanking you. They are out on the streets cheering your name. It seemed like a lot of work for a few houses though, but now you know how to build anything. To build any structure, place a building footprint. The citizens will clear the area and then collect enough resource to build the structure. As long as there are citizens assigned as builders, they can take care of the rest. The people are going to need food, otherwise they'll starve. You don't want them to starve, do you? Do you? Okay then. They can acquire food in variety of the ways. They can hunt, gather, and fish, plant crops, grow orchards, or raise livestock. If the people are close to starving to death, the hunger icon will appear above their heads. It's very useful information indeed. And also guys, if you don't want me reading out the tutorials, leave, tell me in the comments as well. I do like doing these voices, but you're the ones who like to judge what, what you would like to see. Since the town is near a river, the easiest way to quickly generate food is to build a fishing dock. Select the food production from the toolbar by pressing the apple. And then putting it here. Um, uh, that way. That's, that's, that's the way I want it, right there. Now, I am going to Sign jobs to citizens. Be fishermen. Two should suffice. Any more would be stupid. Wait, can I do more? Do I want more? So, oh, I apparently want more fishermen. I didn't. I didn't know that. You may notice this icon above some of the citizens' heads. This means that the workers you just assigned don't have any place to work. Well, aren't you stupid to assign them a job that they cannot complete? Or do? They must be real bored. As soon as the fishing dock is complete, they'll start working there, and the icon will disappear. Any window in the game can be moved around by clicking on the title bar. Title bar, and dragging it around. Title bar, title bar. Um... I think I see a problem. It says title bar twice. That is not really good grammar. But I shall, um, 
I shall ignore that because the game is pretty fun so far. You can also close any window by pressing the X button. Okay, uh, that button. I accidentally pressed X on my keyboard just then. Wait while the fishing dock is built. Now, yeah, let's just uh, let's just quicken up the speed here, because um, we want that to be built quicker. Come on, guys, build it up. Come on. We ain't got all day. Ah, oh, shit, the storm settled in. If you build roads, people will move slightly faster as they move from place to place. Place roads by first selecting roads and bridges on the toolbar. There. There. Oh, I want me to build it there and there. I shall do that. Using the mouse, click and drag from one end of the highlighted road area to the other of the highlighted road. Oh. I did that. Didn't I? Dirt road cannot be placed in this location. Um. Dirt road can't be placed. Why can't it be placed? Why can't it be placed? The tutorial is telling me to place it there, but it can't be placed. That makes perfect sense. Um. Why can't it be placed? The tutorial is telling me to place it. Ah, there we go. I see. I see. Now, the same builders that construct buildings will prepare the road for use. After they perform the construction, the town will go faster when travelling across roads. As the town grows and workers produce food and other resources, from many locations it's useful to see an overview of what the town has available. This information can be found using the overview, overview tool. It can be found in the tools menu. Open it by pressing this thingy down here. I don't know what to call it, so I'll just say this thingy. Ah, those general statistics. Seems I only had 32 wood and 26 stone. In this, in the overview, you can see the amount of stored construction materials, food, firewood, clothing, and tools. You can also see current population, average health hearts, and many stars, as well as the current weather. Alright guys, I'm just going to check the time here and make sure that I ain't, uh, no, going for too long. There we go, okay. When food and other consumable goods are produced, they need to be stored somewhere. Until now, the people have been place placing everything in the cart that they have arrived with. You can place a storage barn that can hold more. Stop. Okay. Let's build a storage barn. Um, yeah, that's good. That's a perfect place for it. I wasn't allowed to put it anywhere else. If you look at the overview tool, you can see that there aren't enough logs that to build the storage barn. You have to cut down more trees. Okay. Uh, I'll cut one out. Can I just choose what area I want to cut down? Jesus, tutorials are really annoying sometimes. I have to learn how to play the game. Um, oh. I have to put a woodcutter's here. There we go. The townsfolk are in danger of freezing to death. The I this icon will appear above their heads. If they are overly cold, the people will return to home or go to the closest warm building they can find. This icon will appear over homes that have... That have don't have. That have don't have. I shall ignore that grammar error once again. That don't have any fire was available for heating. Um, okay. Let's just wait until the woods and all that's collected up. What are these over here? These are deer or some short, something like that. Um, where did this here? Come on, people! 
must hear the plans that you build, Kukan. You are going too slow. Well, okay, so we've got 25 more going up. How much stone, actually? Need to get that on stone. Yeah, this is a tutorial. I just have to follow exactly what it tells me to, and then I'll know how to build stuff and make resources. It just taught me everything, then I'll move on, play the other game. God oh, damn it! Buildings do, do take a long time to build. Maybe I should assign more builders. Can I do that? Um, I, I think I. Of course. Of course. It won't let me assign new builders because it's a damn tutorial. That's life now, isn't it? That's life. Nice little town that's going up here, though. How big is this tutorial map? I know, man. This, this tutorial map looks a lot like. Hmm, interesting. I was just thinking, because I was watching a YouTube video, and this tutorial map looked a lot like a map that some. YouTuber was playing, except for it wasn't the tutorial one. Um, you can always assign workers by using the professional tool. But you can also charge, change the number of workers when examining the details of a structure. Click on the woodcutter's building to view the details. The worker will now start producing firewood. He or she will move logs from stockpiles to buildings and cut them into firewood. The rest of the townsfolk will use the firewood to heat their homes. Now that the... Uh, I guess I'll have to remove structures and... What? Oh yeah, that. Okay. Uh, um... Workers will remove the inventory from the cart and then move it into the storage barn. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Okay. Um, okay, I have to... Once again, I have to speed up time. Jesus. Okay, that's... Done. Some maintenance in little like a small town like this. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm getting a bit impatient here, as you can tell. Uh, the children will grow up, become uh, workers and have children of their own. New houses can build in the town, continue to blah 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 blah. Uh, blah. This. Show help and refers. Okay, you can read some of the help reference or press next. To play the next tutorial, it focuses the resource production. Okay, um, that's the first tutorial, guys. Uh, I think um, we'll go over to the next tutorial in the next video. So uh, thanks for watching, and if you like it, please like, and uh, leave a comment below if you have any suggestions of what you want me to do next, or any other games you want me to play, just leave that in the section below. I've been Joseph Killer, and you've been a wonderful audience, and as always, brush your feet before you leave.